Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement, dynamic behavior we are talking about and today we want to talk about a system second order yeah? and we want to talk about the step response of this system second order. So what is a system second order? A system second order is a system with two energy storages. Okay, And just because the two energy storages means both energy storage can exchange energy. Right? This means there are some effects to be thought of. Okay? It's not just they are adding up, then it would be simply a PT1 system, a system first order with bigger storage. They are of different kind. I have such energy energy storage thing for you. This here. Huh? A scissor. Well, this is not the energy storage. I do not need the scissor, actually I need the mass of the scissor. And what I attached here is a spring. Okay. So actually what we've got here is a weight and a spring. Okay. These are already two energy storages because the spring has a potential energy yeah, and the, the mass has a movement energy, a kinetic energy, if it's in movement. Right now, it's almost in standstill, okay? Right now, it's almost in standstill, and so it is not moving at all, okay? And now, I try to make a jump, all right? So, let's see. You have seen, I've moved my hand, and what did the, the scissor or the weight do? Let's do it once again. It moved and it's this is a swinging system you see if I move this whoo, it is bouncing up and down I mean it is not like uh, you have never seen that right <laughs> I just want to focus let you focus here in the moment I move up this will stand still then this is accelerated the potential energy of the spring is translated into kinetic energy of the of the uh, weight, and this kinetic energy is not just gone; it will move further. I need to break down, okay? It need to break, deaccelerate, and then it will fall down. It will again gain kinetic energy, which will be loaded in the spring, and so and this swings a little bit. In the end, it will be stable again. Okay. Once more, stand still, up, swing a little bit, stand still. Okay. This behavior will be different. Yeah? In air, it looks like that. If I would perform this, yeah, like underwater, yeah, then there is more friction between the weight and and the material, and this will not be that swingy, okay? If I perform this in honey, yeah, it will just and will stand still. Yeah? So, you know, there are two things. There are the two energy storages, in this case, kinetic energy and potential energy. And there's also the damping of a system, yeah? how good or how much friction, how damped is the system simply? Huh? Damping factor. So let's let's write this down. So energy storage, uh, they have have two types of energy storage. They might swing. Yeah. That's a second order system. Now let's have a look at the step response. The input is clear. Yeah. First we are zero and at a certain point in time we jump to a value and stay there. Okay, this is the input xi. 
here we're jumping to one or one hundred percent. We simply jump to a value. All right. Now, what would happen if this damping is zero? So what if this is swinging, 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 swinging without friction, without damping at all? How would this look like? Well, it would look like this. We would stay still here. Then we will go up. Yeah. Be here somewhere. Yeah. Then we will swing up to the double extent. Okay. Then we'll go down again. Reach zero again. And then this is now a swing. It will swing with a sine wave. Yeah? That's theoretical. The theoretical uh, behavior. Here we are always, always zero. Mm -hmm. This is the theoretical behavior if damping is zero. Okay, we have a certain, we have a certain frequency. Yeah, so this is damping equals zero. Damping factor equals zero. Yeah. Permanent swing with natural circular frequency omega n. Okay, it's the natural. Natural frequency of the uh, of the system second order. This would be if damping is zero. All right. If we have higher dampings, okay. If we have higher dampings, then it would look like that. We go up. Be somewhere. Yeah. So you see, we are later. We are later with the maximum. Go down. Yeah. So then this 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 swinging is damped. And also lower frequent. Okay, so this is lower dampings. Even lower dampings, we will go up. Yeah. The higher the damping, the less this overswing here is. The lower, the lower the frequency will get, okay, and and uh, the more it's damped simply. Yeah? Then we have a case where we exactly overswing once. We come back. And we will never underswing again. So we will go once above and never more. So this would be damping factor 0 0.7. Yeah? 0 0.7 is where we exactly exceed. Yeah? We overswing one time and then we go back, but we do not get, get, go back below the one line again. Yeah? Going up and then a little bit too far, go come from top. And so on. Then at zero, the damping factor one, we're going up and we'll never overswing. This is damping, this is the damping factor one. Okay, at damping factor one, this is how it is defined, there is no overswing at all. Okay, at damping factor zero, zero dot seven, between. 1 and 0 0.7 we will overswing and never come back and below 0 0.7 we will overswing go and swing a little bit yeah and the lower it is at 0 will swing all the time and the higher the damping factor is the lower or the smoother the slower this this change is okay so this here is damping 1.0, this is damping 
bigger than 1.0 okay so this would be probably damping around 0 0.2 uh, this here maybe 0 0.4 okay so depending on the damping factor we do have different behavior okay i will make one thick i will do this 0 0.7 thick Use this. because actually this for a measurement system this would be the damping factor of choice if we can influence the damping factor somehow we should do it with 0 0.7 because compared to 0 to 1 yeah we are much sooner huh? we are sooner at the at the level the over swing is not that dramatic yeah? and we will not swing yeah? so 0 0.7 is a preferred adjustment if we can influence the damping factor of our measurement size system somehow okay so this is how the different damping factors look like okay They're called damping factors permanent swing damped swing Only over swing, let's say equal one, yeah, border case, no over swing anymore, and damping bigger than one. Damped transition. Transit. Okay. This is how it will look like. Okay. If we have our, if we take our system, yeah, here, bang, the spring is loaded. We accelerate, yeah. Here we would reach the standstill position we are not in standstill because we are in movement so we always swing a little bit and then this is damped and that's it okay like said for a measurement system 0 0.7 is the preferred value because it's acceptable overswing and reacting fast how such systems behave if we do a frequency how the frequency response looked like, we will have a look in next video. Okay, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.